good morning students today we are going to study the <coughs> histology the study of histology portion which is for dhi that is the health second year students and dmlt second year students laboratory technology second year students so dhi2 and dmlt2 portion is the histology histology is nothing but the study of the cells the cell study is cannot be done with the naked eye the study of the cells cannot be done with the naked eye because those are the microscopic structures the microscopic structures are very minute and they cannot be seen with the naked eye hence these microscopic structures can be studied under the microscopes there are different types of microscopes so what are the microscopes what are the instrument how are the instruments microscopes are present and they help in the study of the uh, histology that is the cell structures of different animals and plants all these things today we are going to study now first one is nothing but the microscope the instrument which is used very necessarily in the study of histology or the study of microorganisms so the anatomy and the physiology of the microorganisms or the microscopic animals can be studied only in the microscope so this <coughs> microscope is an instrument which helps in the study of cells that is the histology coming to the first point microscope is an optical instrument consist of combination of lenses which enlarges or magnifies the images of the minute objects it is the optical instrument containing the lenses which enlarge and enlarge or magnify the images of the very minute objects microorganisms are too small that cannot be seen with naked eye the microorganisms cannot be seen with the naked eye or they are magnified to see and study under microscope hence they are magnified to see and study under the microscope microorganisms are very small and cannot be seen with the naked eye hence they are magnified and uh, magnified to see and study under the microscope next point there are two types of microscopes the first one is the simple microscope with single lens simple microscope containing a single lens then second one is the compound microscope with combination of lenses so lenses more than one lenses are present in the compound microscope so the combination of lenses are found in the compound microscope in a simple microscope only one single lens is present whereas in compound microscope more than one lenses are present in the 17th century the history of the microscope in the 17th century leven hook scientist leven hook used a simple microscope to study the cell which had a single lens he used a single lensed microscope that is the simple microscope to study the cell in the in the 17th century his name is leven hook leven hook scientist leven hook the compound microscope was built by robert hook and later zacharias in 1600 ad 
in the 1600 AD the scientist Robert Hooke and later Zacharias they found out the compound microscope. A Dutch scientist modified the compound microscope invented by Robert Hooke. Zacharias is a Dutch scientist. Zacharias is a Dutch, Dutch scientist modified the compound microscope invented by Robert Hooke. He modified the compound microscope invented by the Robert Hooke. Hence, the compound microscope is first found out about by the Robert Hooke and later it is modified by the Zacharias. Then, next point. In the year 1830, 1830, 1830, a better compound microscope was developed by Joseph Jackson Lister. Joseph Jackson Lister found out a best compound microscope, a very developed compound microscope in the year 1830. There are, next point, there are different types of light microscopes that are used by microbiologists for their work. So, there are different types of compound microscopes used by microbiologists for their work. They are, number one, bright field microscope, second one, dark field microscope, third one, face contrast, uh, face contrast microscope, the fourth one is fluorescence microscope and the fifth one is electron microscope. So, these are the five compound microscopes which are developed one by one and improvement is done in the micro in the compound microscope to study the histology that is the cell study. Based on the principles of the magnification, there are two types of microscopes. Based on the principle of magnification, there are two types of microscope very important types they are number one compound microscope one is compound microscope it is a light or optical microscope in which magnification is obtained by a system of optical lens optical lens is there and the magnification is taken up by this optical lens in the compound microscope second one electron microscope it is micro uh, the microscopes in which Magnification is obtained by the beam of electrons. The magnification is obtained by the beam of electrons. Beam of electrons. It has advantage of maximum magnification and used to study various fine structures of bacteria and viruses. Bacteria and viruses study is done only in the electron microscope which gives the well magnification, high magnification, maximum magnification by a beam of electrons. Here the beam of electron is used to magnify the image. That is the electron microscope. So there are two compound microscope and electron microscope. Next point, the compound microscope contains following parts. So this is the figure of the compound microscope I will give you in the notes also this is the compound microscope in which the first one part second part third then here fourth fifth sixth and seventh seven parts are there so the compound microscope contains the following parts that is the first one eyepiece eyepiece lens eyepiece lens then the second one is the tube Third is arm, then nose piece, fifth is stage, sixth lower lens or illuminator, lower lens or illuminator and the seventh is the base, base of the compound microscope. So there are seven parts present in a compound microscope. The arm contains coarse and fine focus knobs. The arm of the compound microscope contains coarse and fine focusing knobs. The focus knobs for the coarse and the fine purpose. There are two knobs present in the arm. 
by which the object can be focused appropriately so the object can be focused appropriately by these two knobs that is the coarse knob and the fine focusing knob the next point the nose piece contains objective lenses which also focus the object so objective lenses are there in the nose piece next point the stage contains clips to fix the slide the stage contains the clips to fix the slides the lower mirror or illuminator allows the light on object for clear vision the lower mirror or illuminator allows the light on object for clear vision next point the base is a resting table the base is a resting table on which all the parts of microscope rest so the base is the resting table like structure on which all the above parts they rest coming to the uses of microscopes this is a very important point uses of microscopes they will ask in the examination also the first use the first point tissue analysis tissue analysis microscope is commonly used by histologists to study cells and tissue to determine if the sample is cancerous if the sample given is a cancerous type then it can be studied under the compound microscope and the cell study is done by this one that is the tissue analysis next one examination examining forensic evidences for examination of forensic evidences microscopes are used second point evidences collected at a crime place may not be visible to naked eye for example striations in the bullets striations in the bullets can be examined under microscope to see if they match bullets shot from the particular gun so to match the bullets shot from the particular gun examination examining forensic evidences is done by the microscope next the third one determining the health of an ecosystem determining the health of an ecosystem it is commonly common for field biologist to monitor health of the ecosystem by identifying the number and diversity of organisms in a particular region then the fourth one is studying the role of a protein within the cell studying the role of protein of the cell so microscopes are valuable tools of research scientist for study the functions of protein in the cell then the fifth one studying atomic uh, atomic structures powerful microscopes such as atomic force microscopes help scientists in studying the surface of individual atoms the atom study can be done in the uh, microscope then the si next one sixth one biological samples can be analyzed using microscopes seventh one electron microscopes can be used to study the viruses and bacteria then the eighth one is the biology classes in the biology classes students use microscopes to look and to compare plant and animal cells plant and animal cells can be compared by using the microscopes in the biology class of the students so these are the eight uses of microscopes now coming to the handling of the microscope how to handle the microscope the microscope is a instrument which is very smooth and this can be used properly this can be handled properly and how to use how to handle the microscope you have to study use two hands 
to carry one on base and one on the arm so two hands should be used to carry the microscope one on arm and one on the base so with a single hand arm cannot be picked up likewise only but the two both hands are used to carry the microscopes place on a clean surface away from edge these microscopes are kept on the clean surface and away from the edge they cannot fall down they should not fall down third one check plug before you start check the plug before you start then the fourth keep clean the microscope should be cleaned with a cloth then fifth one begin to focus using low power first first low power should be used to focus the object so first for the from the beginning the low power should be focused then the sixth one cover cover after use after the use of the microscope it should be covered with a uh, cloth or the cover is there will be there and you put the cover on the microscope then seventh one is clean the lenses with a special lens paper clean the lenses with a special lens paper then the eighth one insert the slides between clips properly you should insert the slides between the clips properly then take care of lenses and illuminator then the tenth one is maintain your microscope you should maintain the microscope so there are 10 handling laws are there in the microscope how to handle the microscope there are 10 <coughs> laws coming to the basic techniques in the histology the basic techniques in the histology there are three basic techniques in histology that are used for light compound microscope the light compound microscope in the light compound microscope three basic techniques in the histology are used the first one is paraffin technique second one frozen section or technique the third one is semi thin sections or serodine technique cell cello aceroidin technique so semi thin section technique that is the third one the first one is paraffin technique second is frozen section technique third one is semi thin section technique coming to the first one paraffin technique this technique is most commonly used in which sections are prepared and stained and observed under light microscope the technique is mostly most commonly used in which stains sections are prepared and stained and observed under light microscopes in this technique tissues are fixed and embedded in the wax which makes tissue hard to cut easier sections the sections are then stained and examined the following steps are the are followed in the in this technique in this technique there are some uh, steps are there and the first step is fixation fixation the fixative commonly used is 4% aqueous solution of formaldehyde the fixative is commonly used is 4% aqueous solution of formaldehyde then second point a square tissue blocks are fixed in the above chemical fixation the chemical binds the proteins through dehydration which hardens hardens the tissue and inactivates the enzymes that degrade the tissue it also kills bacteria and enhances staining so in the first step fixation 4% aqueous solution of formaldehyde is used then the second one the dehydration and 
cleaning. To take sections, the tissue has to be embedded in paraffin wax. Wax is not soluble in water or alcohols but soluble in a chemical called xylene. In the xylene, the wax is soluble but it is insoluble in alcohol and water. Point number three, hence the water in the tissues needs to be replaced by xylene and this is done by dehydrating tissue first. First, the dehydration of the tissue is done. Then the fourth one, the tissue is placed through increasing connections of ethyl alcohol. The tissue is play passed, sorry, the tissue is passed through increasing concentration of ethyl alcohol. Next, finally, the water is replaced by alcohol and then alcohol is replaced by xylene. Then coming to the next step, the first is fixation, second is dehydration, the third one is embedding. embedding. In uh, first point in this one the tissue is placed in warm paraffin wax for embedded after cooling the tissue hardness and can be used to cut slices then the fourth step is sectioning the tissue is trimmed and mounted on a cutting device called micro Microtome. Thin sections are cut to 4 to 10 mu millimeter. Mu meter. Mu. 4 to 10 mu. Then, then the fifth step is staining and mounting. In this step, most of the staining solutions are aqueous, hence, to stain the section, the wax has to be dissolved and replaced by water. The stain sections are passed through xylene and decreasing strength of ethyl alcohol and finally water and then stained. Once stained, the section is then dehydrated once again and placed in xylene. It is then mounted on the microscope slide in mounting medium dissolved in the xylene and cover slip is placed above to protect the sample. Next point adva advantages are thin and serial sections can be got by this method not time consuming and stained easily it is not a time consuming process and it is a stained easily. Disadvantages of this technique is number one it cannot be used for large pieces of tissues cannot be used for the large pieces of the tissues and second one the heat destroys enzymes the heat destroys the enzymes here the enzymes are destroyed by the heat. Now coming to the second one frozen section technique. In this technique, tissues are frozen in liquid nitrogen. So here, for frozing purpose, the liquid nitrogen is used. The, in this technique, tissues are frozen. They are frozen in liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen is most important frozing chemical. So this chemical is used in this method. That is a frozen section technique. Then cut in a refrigerated cabinet used cry cryostat with a cold knife. They are the tissues they are they are sliced or cut in the refrigerated cabinet by using cryostat with a cold knife. Next point then stained and observed under the microscope. This procedure is faster and preserves some tissue details that may be lost in paraffin techniques. The last 
the next point is sections are 5 to 10 mu thick the sections are 5 to 10 mu in thick but in uh, the staining uh, in uh, In the paraffin technique, the sections are 4 to 10 mu, 4 to 10 mu, here 5 to 10 mu, thick sections you will get. Now coming to the third one, the last one, semi-thin section or celloidin technique, semi-thin or celloidin technique. It is It is having the in detail in thick sections. The thick sections can be seen in this semi thin sections. So, in this technique, the tissue is embedded in epoxy or acrylic resin, which enables thinner sections less than 2 mu to be cut. So, the sections will be. 2 mu to be cut so 2 mu sec, uh, thin sections you will get in this one semi thin section so there are three types of techniques basic techniques in the histology there are three basic techniques the first one is the paraffin technique second is frozen section technique then the semi thin section technique so there are three types so this is about the histology of the cell the cell or the tissues are studied under the microscopes and the structure of the microscope the handling of the microscope the parts of the microscope everything i have explained the structure the figure you have to draw that one the figure of the microscope and the structure in the structure there are seven parts present in the uh, microscope they are eyepiece tube arm nose piece stage lower lens or the illuminator and the base there are seven parts in the microscope and the users of microscope about eight users i have given then handling the microscope how to handle the microscope you have to study then afterwards the basic techniques in the histology there are two to three types of techniques present in the histology so this portion is for uh, DHI2 and DMLT2 students. So you please go through the figure of the microscope. They will ask the figure of the microscope in the examination or the uses of the microscope or the handling of the microscope. So these types of them. Then the basic techniques. There are how many basic techniques are there? There are three basic techniques. The paraffin technique, frozen technique, then semi-thin section technique. So three types of techniques are there, basic techniques are there in the histology. So you must study all these parts, all these things. For further references, you go to the books also. So if you want to take um, still more information, you please go through the books. So I will give the notes also for you people. You please go through the notes also. So this completes the histology. Thank you very much. Thanks.